We're going to be developing some major content themes and a lot of blog post ideas in this lesson. And we're basically going to be gathering up all of the ideas that will kind of fuel your content marketing works for the next couple of months. And blog posts are the bulk of what you're going to be creating. So you'll be creating other formats for content from these blog posts. So everything from audio to video and things in between. That's how we're going to be leveraging the work that you do and the writing you do. And so blog posts are kind of our basic building block of content, really. And so you're going to be writing those blog posts both on your site and also guest posts. But you'll also need to come up with content themes for at least one blog post a week on your own blog ideas for guest blog posts, two webinars, an e-course, and some social share content as well. And here are some tools to help you out, to help you with some ideas for how to generate content ideas, see what other people are doing. Feedly is a popular RSS feed. It's a wonderful way to keep track of trending topics in your industry, which of course will help you find content ideas at the same time. With BuzzSumo, you can actually discover popular content and content ideas. It's using uh, social media shares to determine if a piece of content is popular and well-liked. So this information will help you see what content uh, you know, is doing well right now. Uh, content Forest, it offers free tools, which include something like Keyword Kiwi and Content Ideator. These tools help you find popular content from your competitors, effective keywords to use in your content. So it's you know, got some great uh, ideas kind of all in one spot. There's also a really handy uh, blog post headline analyzer. So this is CoSchedule's tool, and it analyzes headlines and titles and provides feedback on links, the word choice, grammar, keyword search volume. So if you have an idea in mind, you could run a few title options through the headline analyzer to see how you could make it stronger and also kind of move your idea further along in your you know, brainstorming and thought process to see if it's actually something that's uh, you know getting some good scores through the analyzer. And I really encourage you to infuse your personality into the content that you create because you want it to stand out and be really individual and personal. And it's gonna make it more fun for you. You'll be more authentic, you know, and people will connect with you better. And that's what, you know, everybody's kind of looking for is to build a personal connection, to build trust with the people that they're choosing to do business with and engage. So some common formats you may see out there for, you know, types of, uh, you know, content people are creating, top five, top 10, anything really. People, like I've talked about a lot, love lists. We know the types of, you know, articles that we click on. Uh, and certainly a lot of it is these kind of top five, top 10 lists. Uh, must-haves, you know, for your industry, kind of any kind of must-have, do's, don'ts, things like that. A beginner's guide for something, you know, for me, uh, for my test to website, you know, the beginner's guide to, you know, baking or, you know, um, buying good chocolate, things like that. Uh, if there's some plugins, like essential plugins for, you know, your industry, people love that. It's cool to always find new plugins. Uh, how to's, basic how to's, best practices. Just really brainstorm about the things that you click on and that, you know, really catch your eye. And that's, you know, certainly usually what other people are responding to well. But using these tools uh, that are out there as well that I mentioned earlier, it's going to really help you see what's really trending and give you a lot of ideas for your industries as well. And so try to come up with like 20 blog topics today. That would be a really good idea. And whenever you see a series of posts coming up that are kind of related, like a group of blog talk topics that come up together, you could kind of pull those off to the side and put them on a shorter list of potential webinar topics that you're gonna do, or maybe an e-course. And so that's what you wanna focus on today, is making sure that you start doing the searches and research that you need to do about what content is really resonating with your industry, with your audience right now, and start coming up with a list that you will use for writing your blog posts, for eventually doing the webinar, and also your e-course as well. And so it really will serve you well, again, to you know spend the time to research your industry and really get a really nice spreadsheet going to help you keep it all straight. And so our PDF download for this uh, lesson is going to be a content calendar creation example, as well as some industry blog post examples. So you can kind of start getting a feel for, you know, what these things could look like and how to actually kind of start scheduling a content calendar as well. So we'll keep your eyes, you know, into your research today and we'll see you in the next lesson where we will be commenting on blogs as a way to grow your list and build relationships.